Right. Thank you, Representative Green. <clears throat> Excuse me. Any additional questions? Uh, seeing none, thank you, Mr. Danick. We'll move on to our next uh, speaker, who is thank Edward you. Lindsay. You have three minutes. Thank you guys so much. I just want to start off by saying normally I'm all about defunding the police. I don't think the police, I, I'm a cab. I believe all cops are bastards, but this is the situation that I'm in. This is why we got to get the hate. We have to figure out a, a jurisdiction on violating people that violate hate crimes because my wife's boyfriend has been calling me gay, has been calling me bisexual, has been, has been treating me absolutely terrible. The worst hate crimes ever. My wife's boyfriend has posted pictures that my wife took of me on the internet in a very unflattering way. I'm spread open. I'm very embarrassed. This is a hate crime. This is a sexual hate crime. He doesn't like me um, because I'm impotent ever since I got the vaccine. So he calls me gay. I'm not a gay man. Is this a hate crime? I think any crime based out of uh, not love is a hate crime. So we have two crimes. We got hate crimes and we got love crimes. Love crimes like credit card fraud. Hate hate crime, taking pictures of my genitals and posting it on uh, internet forums of people that I work with causing me to lose my job. So because of this, because you guys, uh, all you bureaucrats up there, you fat cats, oh, you're so smart. I'm in Connecticut. I'm going to make the rules. Well, let me tell you something. Like I said, I want to normally defund these police. I don't want them to have five cents. But if you're going to make your job harder by creating Mr. a hate Lindsay, crime unit, if you could, I'm uh, excited. Uh, dial down your tone a little, please. Okay, I'm sorry. I apologize. I apologize. What I'm saying is I'm so happy for this hate crime because I want you guys to make these cops jobs as hard as possible every cop is an imbecile every cop with a badge and a gun is really an evil evil person they go around and they they arrest you for a, a speeding ticket they arrest you if you run a stop sign and you have warrants for your arrest they arrest you if you're on fentanyl they arrest you if you have a drug overdose they, they will literally arrest the other people in the house so these cops are evil so i i beg you guys you politicians please do whatever you can to make your job as hard as possible they obviously don't want it you see those cops in the car they're like oh don't do it don't do it because they know you're going to make their job harder. So please help me out. Please help my wife's boyfriend uh, go to jail for the hate crimes that he committed against me because I want to bring attention to this because we got to make every cop's life terrible. Any cop that has a badge is a bad person and they don't deserve to have a job. They're the absolute worst people. So we got to we got to fund the police by making their jobs harder. So give them money so we can create the hate crimes division because I really want to make their lives so much harder. And I want to arrest my wife's boyfriend because those pictures he posted me on the internet. And, and listen, listen, I, I willingly took those pictures but I didn't give him permission. I didn't spread it open for him to go and, you know, for him to go. Uh, hang on a second, Mr. Lindsay. Mr. Lindsay to calm down a little bit. And then it's, yeah. I think it's three minutes is up. Yeah, what's up, Senator? See, you you always try to stifle me. You know, okay. you're the one that I'm. I'm happy though, Senator. Uh, Mr. Hosen, Lindsay, I'm, happy she's gonna make I'm chairing this meeting, so direct it to me, please. Oh, well, what I'm saying is, I'm happy you guys. She's all mad, but you guys, I want you guys to make that hate crime unit because you guys are gonna make the cops life. So I'm on y'all's side, even though y'all are annoying bureaucrats and you guys sit there. And you Mr. Guys Lindsay, do you have anything uh, further to add? Yes, this is what I want to say is we need to arrest my wife's boyfriend for a hate crime. I'm asking y'all for help. So please make these cops lives much harder because every cop does not deserve any happiness because if they choose a lifestyle to protect and serve by arresting people, then they're a bad person. Like they say, a cat, you know, Antifa for life. And this is the future, guys. We're the future. I'm a young kid. I'm the future. All you guys are going to be Mr. dead. Lindsay, thank you. Your three minutes is up. And uh, my apologies for uh, any offense that anyone may have taken to uh, his comments. Uh, Representative DJ Carlo, do you have a question? Yeah, is he still on? Uh, no, he's not. Okay, I would have loved to ask him a question, but I will. Uh, I will pass now. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Representative Howard. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, I appreciate the opportunity. I understand he's not here anymore, but I feel compelled to. Uh, just speak on behalf of thousands of law enforcement officers in this state that that does not represent my opinion. It does not represent the opinions of my colleagues on this committee, on the Republican caucus. And I think it was um, disgraceful that that individual uh, was given three minutes to just simply disparage an entire profession that way. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Representative Howard. Uh, we will move on to our next speaker. So I really